The Ferrari GTO is the most exciting car I've ever driven. It is said to be the most valuable and successful Ferrari ever made, winning the World Manufacturers Championship three years in a row, 1962, 63, and 64. I think it's the most beautiful race car ever made. I owned one of these GTOs for a few years, driving it every day on the street and occasionally on the track in informal events like the one you see here. I have never experienced anything else like it. Originally, a GTO sold for about $18,000. That was Rolls-Royce money in 1962. Today the cars are valued in the neighborhood of $18 million. From my experience of the car, I'd say it's worth every penny. No other car has provided me the same kind of excitement the GTO did every time I started the engine and heard those six double-barrel Weber carburetors sucking air into the engine. The sound coming from the V12 engine, even at slow speeds, never failed to produce an adrenaline rush. my daughter Morgan. There is Jean Berchon of Moët et Chandon who organized this event. My GTO when I did was tantamount to having Bridget Bardot as your girlfriend when you made your way from teenager to adult. It accelerated the process, you might say, and set impossibly high standards indeed for the future. 
This day at Infineon Raceway reminds me of a similar day spent at Willow Springs Raceway so long ago. I had my GTO there along with those of Chris Cord and Mario Tassi. They practically had to throw us off the track at the end of the day. Ferrari made 36 GTOs, however, I prefer to think that the factory made 36 one-of-a-kind racers all having the same mechanical components, but each one unique unto itself, varying sufficiently in detail that an owner could easily distinguish his or her own car from a crowd of other GTOs. It is impossible to remember my car without thinking of the famous bread van, a GTO evolution created by Bizzarini for Count Volpe that was owned by my friend Matthew Edinger. Together our two cars burned up the roads of Southern California creating some wonderful memories for the two of us and, no doubt, for all those whose paths we crossed. This is what GTO number 3987 looked like when I owned it. I have some amazing tales to tell about the adventures I've had with it I'm certain every GTO owner, past and present, has a few stories of their own worth telling. Let's find out, shall we?